Metcalf and I'm here on Oahu's North Shore at the epicenter of a seven mile miracle of surfing. Now right now we're at Pipeline which is the home of the Billabong Pipe Masters. In order to be considered one of the greats in surfing you need to win this contest. Now last year you can see Julian Wilson was the winner and here on this board you can see some of the other previous winners from years past. And one other accomplishment that is on every top surfer's bucket list is to win the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing, which is a combined point total for the Hawaiian Pro of Haleiwa, the Vans World Cup of Surfing at Sunset Beach, and the Billabong Pipeline Masters. Sonny Garcia has won this event six times. Derek Ho won it four times. Andy Iron and Joel Parkinson have each won the crown three times. Michael Ho, John Florence, and Kelly Slater have each won two times. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to John Napolt, who is an artist and woodcarver who's been carving this lovely trophy for the Vans Triple Crown for the last 30 years. How did you get involved with this surfing community here? Okay, let me just please say, it, it's really only been 26 years that okay. I've, I've done this. But uh, I got involved with it when I was carving, uh, carving a, a some sculptures, my Fountain of View series. They were surfers, and I didn't want to name them anything, you know, so I'd say Fountain of Youth number one, Fountain number two, like that. And I had a bunch of carvings ready, and some friends were saying those would be great awards for the Triple Crown, you know. So I called Randy Rarick. I didn't know Randy, and I said, hi, my name, told him what I was doing, and he said, well, I have to see your artwork. So he came down to my studio, and I just had about a four-foot carving by two feet of, uh, out of redwood. It was painted of a guy dropping into a huge wave at pipe. And he said, this looks just like the poster. <laughs> and uh, he said, you're in, you're good. So he hired me, and lo and behold, 26 years later, who to thunk it, you know? Wow. And do you have any favorite surfers who have won this trophy over the years? Oh, yes, for sure. Um, uh, Derry Cole, the whole family, uh, I, I have friends of their father and, and friends that knew them when they were young. And, and, and I, made, I carved Derry Cole's uh, gateway and his uh, entranceway. So uh, he was my favorite for a, a long time, but it's gone into John John. But I, I, I like the, the best man. The best okay. surfer, I really do. Um, we were, I was talking with Kyle Metcalf, and I asked him if, uh, you know, a favorite, and I just said I'd like Gabriel Medina mm -hmm. to win this this year. Wow. It, it would be neat. I, Mick's in the running for it. He owns one of my carvings, I think, and I, I don't know who else. But that would be nice. It, it you know. Now you mentioned, sorry to interrupt, you mentioned this was made out of wood. Has it always been made out of wood? And do you have a sp specific type of wood you like to work with? The first carvings I was making, I, w I was doing three. I would do one for the champion, one for the first runner-up, and second runner-up. And I usually made them from the same piece of wood. I'd get a plank of koa. The first ones were all koa, and they were beautiful. In memory of Ronnie Burns was probably the best one of, of those koa carvings. And Derek won that. Oh, so, wow. And yes, this is cedar. And this was very difficult. This is uh, banyan. The base is banyan, but this was hard. It was brittle. It chipped. It was the most difficult wood I've ever used to carve uh, the Triple Crown. How long did it take you to carve one like this? This took me four months to wow. carve, sand, and paint. And how do you decide what kind of paint you're going to use to paint this after? I use acrylics. I've been, I use acrylics on wood. They're long-lasting. They'll hold right to the wood. And they'll stay. They have some good staying power. And uh, traditional American wood carvers in, in 1700s, uh, 1800s, they were painting their carvings, a lot of the carvings, like, you know, the figureheads and things like that. So I, my other friends, most of my Hawaiian friends, wanted me to just leave them carved, don't paint them. <laughs> but it's an extra added thing. It, it makes them kind of like a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> So do you have any favorite stories that come from one of the surfers that has won one of your trophies? 
any little anecdotes that the public might not know? Well, there's a good story about uh, Andy Irons. He, I carved a redwood carving for him, and it was, it was really nice. It was a surfer dropping down on both sides, and it looked like a wreath. And Andy, uh, he got the award, and then there was a photo shoot in town, and they sent the award to Waikiki, and the guy who delivered the award had somebody sign for it. It wasn't the guy working in the store. The guy signed for it and took the oh. carving. <laughs> Oh, no. So Billabong had to re, uh, uh, you know, they had to commission me to do a yeah. new one. So I did a really beautiful one out of Cuban mahogany, and that's when the price of my carving started going up. Okay. Now, last question. I hear you no longer live in Hawaii. Can you tell me where you live, and will you still be involved with the event? I live in the Puget Sound now. I live on the San Juan Island. It's a, a beautiful uh place we have a moat you have to get there by a ferry um, I've been involved with the arts there uh, I entered one of my carvings into the county fair that's the most prestigious they have up there yeah. under professional and it took the grand prize and it was a surf carving too wow. out of Koa that's great yeah so I'm still carving but I don't know about next year could you tell me a story about your earring I have a gold earring here oh, I like that and uh, I, the first time I saw this design, it was a silver uh, one, a silver surfer, and my friend, friend Buttons, Kaluhio Kalani, Monty, he had a couple of them. And I was teaching him how to play ping pong, and he gave me one. So I had a silver one, and he had a silver one. And years later, I would see him, and I asked him if he still had it. And he told me, uh, no, he didn't. So I took one out of my ear and gave it to him. But I had them made from a bridge in my mouth. The gold, oh, wow. came, <laughs> the gold came from my <laughs> mouth. And I have another bridge, and I'm going to make more. So if you ever see any gold earrings like this, you know they came from my mouth. It's very special. <laughs> so four months of my life to do these. I don't know if yeah. I'll have that this next time. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for your involvement for these many years. And can you say aloha to the Surfing Heritage Museum in San Clemente, California? Aloha, San Clemente. Pochi. Oh, I remember uh, some places we used to surf down there. <laughs> Aloha. Thanks, guys. Aloha. Thank you. Mm -hmm.